Taylor, and Mr. Al Horn would like to say a few parting words. You're welcome to come up here too if you want to, or you can stay there. Okay, I'll stay here. Um, yeah, first of all, I would just like to thank all of our DCI staff. Um, you have been an amazing group of people to work with. Um, the education, the experience, the dedication, the work ethic. Um, I've just been so impressed with everyone in this department and I have loved working with every single one of you for the past five and a half years. It's, I feel like I know almost all of you and if I don't know you personally through my committee, I feel like I know you from your presentations or other interactions and I know your job's not easy and I know you're wearing many hats and, and, and some days are difficult, but I just want to say thank you. And then for my fellow board members, you know, I told many people that this is the best board I've ever sat on, and it is. Um, and I, I think there's several reasons why. When I look at what this board is made up of, we I don't know if everyone is aware what diverse group of individuals are sitting around this room. We have educators from pre-K, early childhood, going into middle school, high school and college level. So we have all perspectives of looking at education from those individuals on this on this board. And then of course we have entrepreneurs on this board who um, think differently. They know how to think out of the box. Uh, they know how to focus on effectiveness and efficiency and return on investment and um, you know all of those things that are critical that sometimes educators that's not in their mindset every day because they're focused on other things. And so marrying the educators with business has been fabulous. We've all learned about, um, you know, big, hairy, audacious goals. Um, thanks to Greg. And then, of course, we have, you know, members that have been involved on this board for, seems like, decades to them, probably <laughs> centuries, um, who have an, an immense experience to bring to this board but in addition to that they have immense experience prior to these days you know working with local regional state government um, you know and just fill that fill block well, I can't even say it <laughs> yeah thank you <laughs> yeah I mean we just have such an immense group of people and then of course I do not want to leave out the attorneys because we have been so fortunate to have attorneys on this board ever since I came on in 2013. And you know, um, attorneys look at things totally different than educators and business people. And, um, and I've appreciated that insight and that guidance because there have been times when I had to totally change my way of looking at something <coughs> and my vote based on an attorney who brought me back down to you know, uh, maybe a non-emotional vote. <laughs> Not that I'm emotional by any means. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just, I thank everyone for that. And and then just personally, I thank everyone for the support, the mentoring that I've had from each of y'all. And, and then I just want to mention leadership real briefly because this board consists of a lot of leaders and, and and I feel really good about the leaders around this room not just our voting board members but our advisors we have had great teacher principal superintendent school board and even student advisors in the past and I think they're valuable members and I hope they will continue to be a part of this board your leadership has been significant it really has and, and I appreciate that you know um, Superintendent Williamson spoke about leadership when he left a few months ago and you know it is all about leadership it's about leadership in our classrooms it's about leadership in our schools leadership in our districts leadership around this table um, leadership in this building and we all know that that makes a difference you take the teacher out of classroom and put a different one in that class may be totally different just because of the leadership of that individual the same thing happens with people in this building, people around this table. Leadership means so much, and I can definitely say that we've had strong leadership with Chairman Kobe and I'm not gonna get emotional, but he has been a phenomenal leader. However, 
<laughs> However, I'm leaving this board knowing that we have wonderful leadership with Chair Davis and Vice Chair Duncan. And not only that, I just feel so good about this board. This really has been a fabulous board. Thank you. Ditto. <laughs> That's not fair. I'd like to say, uh, see you later. Uh, because I do want to come back and be, and I, th I feel like the relationships that we've built are uh, timeless and things that I've got out of this from a return on investment is priceless. Um, Dr. Oxendine, you know, uh, did the math and I was doing it this morning too as far as the number of meetings, the number of presentations, the number of votes. It's just unbelievable. The number of conference calls. Shoot, I mean, when, when somebody asks me what my last four digits of my social security number, I say 2099 pound. <laughs> Conscious now to dial in at two o'clock on Monday, the fourth Monday of every uh, week to that number. Um, the, uh, the the thing that AppSeed is doing started here. It started coincidentally. It started with graduation rates, which we talked about yesterday and today, and that's uh, something that I will owe you forever. Um, I expect to be able to talk to, uh, I'll take every phone call, I'll take any request, I owe you. Um, if uh, I'll come running, if you need uh, hands to shovel something or, or do anything at all, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. Um, you know, example of that is, is, heck, in the last five days, I've talked to John Tate uh, by text, uh, Buddy <laughs> Collins, had dinner with uh, Reggie Keenan and, uh, and Kevin Howe last night and just with those relationships just go on and on. Philip Price is a great friend now and just being able to be able to have those that I would not have had before is just priceless. And it's something that I'll always always remember. It's I felt like uh, you know, you this board, the appointed part of the board is tattooed on my heart because it gave me this sole purpose, not singular but spiritual purpose of doing APSE and I hope that will connect the State Board of Education mm -hmm. and what we're doing with zero to four year olds so that I'll be able to say, see you later. <laughs> Thank you. I can't say dit ditto to all the remarks, but I certainly associate myself with so much that both of you have outlined. Uh, when thinking about what to say, uh, you know, I try to stay brief and uh, and I didn't want to write anything out. I wanted it to really come from my heart. And the thing that I've focused on this morning coming in here are, are just the number of great people that I've gotten to know and been associated with. This is the best board I've ever served on. I mean, just incredible individuals. And the staff, you've done a terrific job, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, when I think about what's happened over the last five and a half years that we've been here, uh, I really uh, take comfort in the fact that in spite of conflicts, confusion, uh, starting and stopping on things, and working our way through difficult issues that we're going forward yeah we're making progress public education is getting better here in north carolina and lou holtz uh, old state notre dame football coach quite a personality once said that you're either getting better or you're getting worse it's <laughs> <laughs> the same and you know we're getting better we are but it's difficult I don't think the public education has ever been as difficult as it is today and therefore we need better and better professionals and better and better boards to be running education and meeting the needs so Thank you for allowing me to uh, be the chairman. Uh, I, 
I told you when I became chairman that I know how to delegate. <laughs> and, and, and I have delegated with a vengeance <laughs> to the board, board members. But what's so great is I knew I was delegating to people that could do it much better than I could. Because I tell people, I know less about education than any board member here, but I do know how to run the process. And that's delegating and to the right people to get the right job done. So thank you to everybody. It's been a great trip for me. And uh, people are asking me, what I'm going to do in my retirement. Well, I retired a long time ago. <laughs> so I don't know what I'll be doing, but thanks to the board staff and everything that you and your predecessors have done.